maybe previously the cane would be out, you know, hey. Yeah, you poop now or you poop never, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hi, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Sherilyn. We are both freelance theatre practitioners. And as you can see, we're soon to be parents. Hi, I'm Amin. Uh, I'm Noraini. And we are both re healthcare researchers. And, and we, we are, are parents, parents of two. Today, we'll be sharing more about what it means to be parents here in Singapore. Okay, why did you decide to be a parent? Okay. <laughs> All right, um, culturally, when we got married, that is, that is one of the expectations that were on us and the kind of the expectations that we had on ourselves as well. You know, the, the whole thing about struggle now and then, you know, brief later. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's how we feel about you guys, the new parents. <laughs> We wing it. <laughs> <laughs> Already winging it. <laughs> we didn't decide that it's time, but we just let time decide. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When we got married, uh, we had two years before getting our place. And, and actually, we also got proximity grant, which is great. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and we're yeah. staying near my parents. I think we've come to a conclusion that we are never ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes. I think we came to the same conclusion yeah. as well. But it's just a matter of ready to take on the next challenge. I'm looking forward to sleep. <laughs> Honestly. We're looking forward to no sleep. <laughs> Wait for you. Okay, something up. Your favourite colour. How has your financial budgeting changed knowing you have a child coming or after having children? Okay, okay. It's your question, you answer it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it out there right here, between the two of us. I'm the more financial savvy <laughs> okay, one. Okay? I kind of <laughs> <kinda> got that. <laughs> Useful tip, one of you have to be, okay? At least one, at least one. I think, like financially, I think CDC vouchers help. We, we use those vouchers to like purchase things first, to keep it aside, to you know set aside and be ready. And... I think that has been helpful. So on that note, having all those uh, vouchers helping and also the COL special payment, we just have to be a bit more disciplined now. It's just, okay, there's another slice of the pie that we have to give to our child. Uh, we are literally going by the list, ticking off what we need. And then, okay, we need this, okay. By hook or by crook, we're just going to get money to pay for it. Oh, there's additional money from the government this week. Great! I'm going to put that aside to give my child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like us. Yeah, that list never ends there. Oh my! I mean, I love what Darren just said. Self-discipline is something we truly learned as parents. Um, like, you know, even this like, simple thing like buying a PS5. <laughs> you know, like my friends got it, you know. <laughs> and, and then they're telling me like, dude, just go get it, the stock is bang. I'm like, no. <laughs> I need that for something else. So yeah, yeah. Either you save was amazing because suddenly you're like, ah, electricity bill, I don't have to pay so much this month. Let's put it to formula. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. My child must go through the Singaporean dream route to be considered successful. No, I, I, I don't think so. I think we need to cut down on the competitiveness uh, when it comes to education. The interest may not be academically strong in the earlier part of the life, but then you may be good in a lot of other areas and I think our education system needs to accommodate for that. I think it's most important for me is for my son to be kind and it's not just helping themselves but learning to help others as well and compassionate and at the same time empathetic. I think whatever uh, that's mentioned, I mean mentioned, it really is important and I think from there really it builds the person, it builds, it builds them. Okay. I got sweets! I'm sweet! <laughs> Later. Hey! <laughs> I got another pack of sweets! <laughs> <laughs> guys, what's going on, guys? Okay, later give me, later give me. One for each, one for each. Need to give my son a copy. Nah, nah, nah. All sweet! Yeah, yeah, I'm not kidding. What's happening? Okay, 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 okay. I got something, I got something. Okay, another question. What is the best part about parenthood? I don't know, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what about what about okay? What about uh, what's the best part of pre-parenthood? Best part of pre-parenthood. I like what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying this little little uh, time that we are spending together. Yeah, because a lot of friends say you really need to do things first before you know the child comes. I was like, okay, sure. Well, then we would just you know line up some stuff. To Especially to for the first year of the child, it's going to be difficult for us to find time, right? So, quality time spending together now is we, we value it a little bit more. And I think I can foresee that when our child comes, um, we're going to value this even more. We, 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 we miss that so much. Like, that's exactly what um, was the best part of pre parenthood. Like, everything is measured, right? You know, the time that you're doing, the to plan a date where like oh, can they watch the kids? Can we can parents watch the kids? Or you know, is, is this asking too much? You know, there's all those things and time becomes measured. What is the best thing about parenthood for me? Is <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, I think it's like, you know, this whole idea of like self-discovery. Um, I feel that I'm so just so much more connected with my own self. And that makes me a better parent and a better husband as well. Okay, I have a uh the poo problem. Ooh. Okay, our kid is three and a half and uh, for the longest time he was having a problem with his uh, poo poo problem. Doesn't go to the toilet, he runs and hides under the table, he goes into a corner. So for two, three days he doesn't go and then he's constipated and then he's in extreme pain and stuff. And I think Instagram listened to me. Because <laughs> <laughs> there was a post about a uh, toddler uh, problems when it comes to poo poo. Maybe they're in pain or they're nervous and uh, they're scared. Either either one of us, I think we held his hand and then we, we asked him, are you scared to poo poo? And then he was like, and then we held his hand and we literally like, you know, push. And then after that, he, that never happened again. When we took a different approach and tried to understand that, hey, there's a problem here. He's not being stubborn. And then we, we fixed the problem, it never happened again. So I think gentle parenting is a lot about looking at life like through your kids' eyes mm -hmm. and like, you know, really getting down to their level and just understanding. But you need a lot of patience for yeah. that. Maybe previously, the kid would be out, you know, hey. Yeah, you poop now or you poop never, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're learning a lot, huh? Very good, very good. There we go. <laughs> emoji face challenge. Show us the facial expression of an emoji for this scenario. Winning the first prize lucky draw of one year's worth of baby diapers. Recreate the moment when you realize you were expecting a baby. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I will never forget that. <laughs> yeah. Parents lose their romance when they have children. Mm. 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 Yeah, I, don't, I, I think there's something we need to constantly remind, and remind ourselves and, and, and not lose it. I think because the moment you lose that and then it just becomes a, a chore, it, it gets very hectic in the, in the relationship. And then you end up not enjoying it. It's also like the definition of romance, right? It changes. Like now if you help me wash her bottles, I love you I love more. You more. <laughs> <laughs> Without this romance happening, this child wouldn't have happened, right? Yeah. So never forget that why we love each other and never forget why we would do things out of love for each other. What does it mean to be a parent at this age and time? It's definitely very different from where we came from. Uh, it's either this or kid. What would you want? You want to eat your food or you want to eat the kid? Right? Last time, right? We came from uh, a generation where hard work pays off. It's safe to say that we are both generations of somewhere in between. Uh, but at the same time, I, I am thankful that we understood these two sort of perspectives. We get to choose whether we want to be our parents or we get to choose if we want to be something completely different. So I think for paternity leave, I mean, I really thank the increase to a month and, and the, from the initial two weeks because we live with, with families and parents who, who consider this as a, a lady's role, a woman's role. And, we have bridged those barriers. This is an age of equality. And I think the paternity leave gives fathers to be a part of that journey. Uh, it's a joint shared role and I think more paternity leave is needed. Um, or at least, you know, arrangements where fathers can be more involved in that. 
the world is also changing and the views of the duties of uh, a father or mother is also changing and we are seeing more and more stay-at-home dads and I feel that it shouldn't be oh wow, stay-at-home dad then you're not giving credit to all the stay-at-home mum, right? I feel that I would advocate for not uh, mum should do this, dad should do that but it's, it's a wholesome duty for both parents to take upon what kind of parent do you wish to be? <laughs> okay, I would like to be a compassionate parent. Uh, that's my, my final answer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe similar, I think I would like to be the parent where my kids can come up to me and share with me their fears and even if it's a negative thought that they may have so that we can actually guide them through. There might be a bit of pride and ego in it, but, but of course when I'm growing older, when I'm, you know, all grey hair and need support, I guess I still want to feel useful, maybe? That I can still impact my child in ways. Sometimes to the word dependable. It's important to, to, to be that kind of parent, to be present, to be compassionate towards them uh, and tell them, hey, you know, it's fine. If, if you feel this way, if you think this way, and then, you know, just talk it out. I think it's quite eye-opening and also enriching uh, because uh, they have answered a lot of questions that we uh, parents to be. Uh, we can think, take and learn. Yeah, we can take and yeah. learn. Yeah, I think it's nice. Like, like I think like we have a slight insight of what to expect. Mm. No one asks really how's it going <laughs> or how are you really. <laughs> uh, and, and I think that we always have each other to bounce off and really support and to know that you know that we have this shared mindset in the answers that we're sharing so we're not alone in this um, and that I think is a wonderful experience for me. I was sharing with him that I think it's the first time that I've talked in detail about my parenting journey even though it's only been three and a half years so I was telling him ah, feels very nice to talk to someone about this in detail. Thank you for watching this episode of For Real. For Real. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Bye! -bye. Bye. And like, even in our household, like, you know, I'm, I do the cooking and that's a big wow to a lot of people like, oh, you, you, you cook, you fry egg, yeah? Yeah, I fry egg, yeah, I cook. So how was the experience? What? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, how's the experience? My child haven't come out yet. I don't know. <laughs> like this video, like, subscribe, comment down below. I always wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs>